Hello. I see her. Play the spire. Last time we actually won is the defect. Oh, why did I? <laughs> Good start. Clicking on everything I intend to click on. Um. I mean, maybe something like this. Doesn't really get a second elite, but. I don't think I can take two elites with only one fire. <laughs> yeah, only way to get two elites without one of them being the burning elite is one of these plus this one. I guess you could fight these two elites and have no campfires. Um. Feels like Relic Swap. Sneko? Well, <laughs> that's interesting. I mean, the card draw is neat. Sneaky strike, probably. <laughs> huh. Well, three defends, and I can only play one offensive card, so it might as well be sneaky strike. Oh, I didn't actually look at the energy cost on that strike. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I would have noticed if it w hadn't been white, but since it was a default costed strike, I didn't process it. Um. Hmm. Is quick slash good enough? Probably. Hmm. Well, I think defend strike is better than two strikes and no defend. Now we're already taking no damage, so play the neutralize over the defend. Bouncing flask? Backflip? Probably bouncing flask. Um I'm almost missing exactly 22 HP. Who's the boss? You, okay. I hadn't checked that earlier for some reason. I think I would take the max HP if it was a uh, hexaghost. Maybe I take it anyway. <coughs> yeah, since I'm only fighting one elite. Hmm. Oh, definitely play the zero cost strike. They're dead. Understood. I was thinking I would just play the things that had zero cost before I thought too much about the rest of the turn. In acrobatics. Um. Three more poison, probably better than four more damage. Could be card draw, though.
Take the bouncing flask upgrade. Hmm. Well, if it had bounced twice on the same enemy anywhere... Uh, I could still Blessing of the Forge and kill the front two enemies, I believe. Uh, what do you... Yeah, nine damage upgraded. Uh, although, wait, I could kill one of them, and then these defends, I could play three of them instead of that strike. Twenty-four block may be better than preventing ten damage. But the fact that I uh, went that line means the enemy is still there. Uh, maybe sneaky strike defend? Oh, that only made three block. Because of course. Hmm. And that works. Avoided playing the neutralize because I didn't want to trigger angry. I don't think it would have mattered, but... Oh! Yeah, we take an Eviscerate with Sneko. Sentries. Probably what I wanted to see the least, considering... <laughs> Bouncing Flask? I guess the extra card draw from Sneko, though, is going to really help deal with dazes. Wow, max cost of this rate, max cost Sneaky Strike. It's like Defend Neutralize. <laughs> Maybe I should have played the Potion. Uh, I'll try to keep it. A campfire up there. Uh, discard the two cost strike, maybe? Oh, wait, I. Yeah, that's fine, actually. And then play all the other cards. You deal one damage here now. All right, I'm fine with this. We did damage. We burned a number of days is equal to the number that got added, and we didn't take damage. Now this... this isn't great. Wait. 21 plus 7... yeah, okay, just kill them. <laughs> hmm. But hope to acrobatics into a, a 1 or 0 cost defend. Or alternatively, just play the defend. I okay, we'll just play the defend. I mean, if this is what I would have drawn off of acrobatics, then yeah, that, that was the correct choice. Um, survivor, discard, expensive strike. I'll skip these. Neko Skull. Very nice. 
Uh, I think I got to pass on this. Oh, that had been a less costly sneaky strike. I don't think I potion here. Shouldn't be too bad. And I mean, we would have still taken seven there even if I potioned. Yeah, potion was absolutely incorrect. Oh, <laughs> well. I mean, guess it didn't actually matter. Hmm. I guess I'm taking 12 here. Unless I want to, like, spend some potions. Oh, wait. There's a one cost to defend. But works probably good enough to take. One damage off of just like exploding this guy right away. It will draw zero cost attack. No. Um, is dealing 16 AoE damage next turn worth taking 10 now? Plus the status effect. Well, I mean, I'm taking the status effect no matter what. I could just play two block cards and the strike, but then I wouldn't get the corpse explosion. I think I will play this slower. Hmm, this only deals 15 now. If I throw everything at this guy, I can still neutralize and kill this guy. Little concerned about the wizard, but that'll be a issue for future me. Maybe should have been a lot concerned about the wizard. Bouncing Flask Defend versus Quick Slash and Hope for something. I think it'll be Bouncing Flask Defend. Alright, could have been worse. Ah. I haven't been taking shiv cards. I passed up two blade dances already because it's Neko. Maybe I take backflip. Yeah, I think I do. I'm gonna try to smith here. Maybe a little daring. But I do have full potion slots. I'm just going to use the Liquid Bronze right away. Oh. I forgot I spent energy on the... <laughs> the footwork. I was going to try to play the other strike. Oh, wow. Um... Hmm. 
Is three shiv plus enough for the defense form? I think they deal six or seven each. Then eviscerates 21. I mean, I can... Let's just pretend we're gonna do this anyway. Yeah, it's just six each. One damage off getting the eviscerate. I'm exactly dead unless I draw something. Or play the dex potion. I guess I'd rather backflip and hope for a zero cost something. Oh, no, nothing here generates block. I was gonna say compared to playing Defense Strike. But I guess Defense Strike may just be better. This battle would be looking a lot different if, uh... Shiv Pluses did one more damage. Maybe I should have rested. Your thorns deal four, but I can still bend, strike, strike. Well, I may have a lot of decks, but I'm also dead. Eh, should have rested. I mean, being one damage short for the big attack was also just unfortunate. Alright, I'll make one more attempt. 